Well, it turned out to be a pretty nice day in Lafayette. We reached a high of 84 degrees and we'll continue to see quiet conditions tonight under partly cloudy skies during the overnight period. But we should eventually turn mostly cloudy by the time we wake up tomorrow. And then we also have a slight risk for severe weather and this will arrive late in the day Monday and overnight into Tuesday morning. And then we'll finally get some relief in the forecast as well with temperatures in the upper 70s by the time we get to the end of the week. But for now, we're under most Mostly clear skies, temperatures currently 75 degrees, and we have winds coming in from the south at 7 miles per hour, keeping those temperatures pretty warm at this hour. 73 in Kokomo, currently 74 in Rossville, and 76 degrees down in Crawfordsville. We had a few light showers move through the area earlier this morning and early afternoon. We have since then dried out. We have a few clouds hanging around, but we will see more clouds build in during the overnight period as well. This shows around 5 o'clock in the morning. We really should wake up to mostly cloudy skies by the time we wake up tomorrow morning with temperatures in the lower 70s, 70, 71 in Lafayette and 72 degrees for an overnight low in Crawfordsville and into the upper 60s up to our nor northern counties overnight low of 69 degrees in Winnemac. We should stay dry for the first half of Monday, but by the time we get to the afternoon, again, we have those hot temperatures and the humidity. We have that chance for a pop-up shower or thunderstorm during the afternoon afternoon hours and temperatures will be already in the 80s by the time we get to the 12 o'clock hour 80 at noon and then a high of 88 degrees by 4 o'clock in the afternoon with highs ranging from the mid to upper 80s area wide 88 in Lafayette 87 in Delphi and a high of 87 degrees also in Logansport there is a slight risk for severe weather and this does include much of the viewing area mainly our northwestern counties but it does also include much of Tippecanoe County Warren in Fountain and also Benton County and also White County as well. And we'll go ahead and time those out with our future cast starting at 7 o'clock. We'll see that chance for a pop up shower or thunderstorm in the evening. But by the time we get to midnight, we have a line of showers and storms, and that'll sweep through the area during the overnight period. That main line could produce damaging winds large hail, frequent lightning, and also the possibility for maybe an isolated tornado. But we're not going to see any severe weather tonight. We'll have mostly cloudy skies eventually, dropping to a low of 71 degrees in Lafayette. And Monday, a high of 88 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. And then that potential for strong to severe weather by the time we get to the later hours of the day. So we do have that chance for storms Monday with a high of 88 degrees, falling to 85 for a high on Tuesday under partly cloudy skies and Wednesday. It looks like we do have a chance for a few light rain showers with a high of 79 degrees. But by the time we get to Thursday, the pattern quite it becomes a little bit quieter under mostly sunny skies for your Thursday, high of 76 degrees. Fourth of July looks great, mostly sunny with a high of 80 degrees. And then Saturday and Sunday, partly cloudy skies with a temperature Rebounding right back into the lower 80s, 82 next Saturday, and a high of 84 degrees next Sunday. So really, 4th of July looks great. 80